Hello and welcome to my studio vlog. Updates, new art projects, online art classes, copious amounts of tea. So today I went and picked up a painting from a show, took it back and hung it up on my wall and I actually like it. I think it's a good addition to my sitting room here and I really enjoy making custom frames. So I'm developing a, quite a little art collection of custom frames here. I'm just so drawn to woodworking and moldings and, and decorative frames that have gilding and hand chosen colors. It's really nice to see everything coming together and taking shape. Actually looking at some of the frames I've been making lately, I'm not sure why I've been buying chop frames all this time. I think that custom made frames are the way to go. So I'm really enjoying creating more and more of these. So the Torpedo Factory. The Torpedo Factory is an art school that was founded in the 70s, I believe. And I used to take classes there as a child, and now I teach there. So. 
it's quite special for me to walk in there and visit the waterfront. I had a painting in a show recently and I can't say I saw that many people at the opening and you know it being uh, COVID and all, it was quite empty. It was a little bit depressing, but uh, I'm glad that I can sort of uh, show you what the space in the building looks like through this film. The painting didn't sell, I'm not too worried about it. I like having it up on my wall here. I've been getting into a nice rhythm lately where I'm working on projects that are very personal to me. I spend time reading books, enjoying tea and the way sunlight falls on plants and wood and interiors. I've been having a very calming summer. Calming is good. I've been doing so much painting lately that I'm rather looking forward to this weekend class I'm going to teach. It's going to be all about pen and ink. I'm going to be doing a lot of demonstrations about drawing the portrait using a linear method and there's no erasing. It's all just with a permanent ink on white paper and I'm quite excited about that. Yeah, my paintings have been delving more and more into the subconscious and they've been taking a lot of inspiration from paintings that I see in museums and the nature around me. I've been developing a lot of backgrounds with my paintings and they are coming along really well. Of course, whenever you try something new, it takes time, but I'm enjoying the slowness of the process. Getting ready to go back upstairs and work on some more paintings. There's so many nice things going on up there. It's really inspiring. I like where I am right now with the pieces. I feel almost as though I'm running out of space. I feel like I should be looking for another studio just so I can get more work done. But this is one of the breaks I'm having between running errands and painting and really fond of tea and I've been collecting a lot of these compiled storybooks. This one's Irish fairy tales and folk tales. And I try to just read a story or two every day just to get my mind, you know, away from the work I'm doing off of social media, off of the news. And it's really fun to work your way through books like these because the stories are so short. They're only a few pages and they're so bizarre. It's uh, almost like going in a time machine. The 
the social mores and the morals, the plots, the characters, all these things are very outdated. And so they're quite bizarre. I'm also interested in the way that fairy tales have been passed down over the centuries. So a fairy tale that might seem like it was from the 1800s could even be originating from a thousand BC or who knows, you know, this kind of oral history that gets passed down and garbled and, and changed depending on the region and the culture that it's been imported to. Um, I think that's where a lot of the bizarreness of some of the fairy tales comes from. So I've been looking into a lot of fairy tale stories. I've been reading the Canterbury Tales by Chaucer. I've been reading the King Arthur uh, anthology by Sir Thomas Mallory from the 1400s. So I've been delving into some weird, almost occult uh, storytelling in my free time over the last year. And it's, it's really fun. So this is uh, probably something that's going to be showing up in my paintings in the future.